and Hyde, also known as Baby What You Want Me To Do. Hi, I'm Red, and I'm here today to help you tear apart this Jimmy Reed song. Jimmy Reed was one of the great, great songwriters um, in the um, earlier days um, of the blues. And by earlier days, I mean um, earlier days of recording. Wrote so many great hits, this was definitely one of them. In the original recording, he played in the key of E, and there was uh, some chord substitution um, up there, you know, around the ninth um, measure um, with a, um, a two and a five rather than just directly to the five. Kind of a cool different move. In my version, I'm in the key of A, and I keep the progression standard. I don't use the substitute chords. Just my personal preference. Um, key of A because it suits my voice a little bit better. Anyway, I'm going to roll through the track. I'm going to demonstrate a few different rhythm moves and then I'll roll through the track, demonstrate some lead stuff, and then I'll talk a little bit about what I've done. So here we go. Rhythm. Standard Jimmy Reed. Now for some lead. Okay, now let me discuss a little bit about what I did there. In the rhythm, the first thing I did was the traditional Jimmy Reed style rhythm. If you're ever at a jam session or in a studio, whatever, and somebody turns to you and says, give me a Jimmy Reed rhythm, it's most likely this is what they mean. Okay? Notice we're not doing a traditional, like a Chicago rhythm or a Texas rhythm where it would go. Not doing that. A Jimmy Reed rhythm will just go. Same for the four and same for the five. I myself, I think I threw in the just sounds better to me, so I did it. Um, five, same thing. This is a traditional Jimmy Reed rhythm. 
the other rhythm that I showed you was using ninth chords and sliding six. I'm using right there if you drop your finger down your f first finger down one fret it becomes a ninth chord the Stevie Ray Vaughan ninth chord I call it but anyway if you move that first finger up one fret leave the other fingers in position and I'll try to get you a good view so you can see what I'm doing there um, fourth string third finger fifth fret second finger third string fourth fret first finger second string second fret and my pinky on the first string at the fifth fret now I just move that my first finger up one fret and I do a kind of a funky upstroke thing You can hear the the the, mute, the palm muted um, strokes, and that kind of gives it that that funky thing. Okay, now for the lead, I'm playing major pentatonics, minor pentatonics. I'm leaning towards the minor pentatonics because in a Jimmy Reed song, usually I think that's what what you would feel most. Um, blending in some major pentatonics, some chord tones. Um, passing tones might uh, come into play, but um, definitely uh, a riff that you would want to add if you want to get that traditional Jimmy Reed is the... You notice I was getting a little bit sloppy with my right hand. Um, just kind of helps to enhance that traditional feel. These guys weren't always perfectly technically clean with their technique. A lot of them only used their fingers. Some of them used picks. But a lot, most of them played sloppy at times. And so learning to, to be a little sloppy without sounding like somebody who's clean trying to be sloppy, that's a, that's a key thing. Learning to really capture that sloppiness. Um, a very cool riff you can use that I used for a little bit in this starts on the 7th fret 4th string with my 3rd finger and then watch what I do I go to my 1st finger 5th fret 3rd string then I go up chromatically And then 5th fret, 2nd string. What happens there is there's a timing thing going on. And I'm not exactly certain. But what I do know is it skips one beat each measure. And I, I'm pretty sure that's what happens anyway. What happens is you get in this feeling of being like like every every time around you have to almost jump over something. And if you, you really need to get that feeling so that you can do this or you'll get thrown off timing wise. Um, it will get you some looks from the other guys in the band like wow that was cool you know because it's a timing thing and they hear that timing thing where it each time through it jumps and if you keep going I, I want to say every fourth time it lands back right where it was but each time through it jumps so that's a cool little lick other than that you know minor pentatonics major pentatonics blend them 
chord tone mixed with the minor pentatonics. Major pentatonic. Find your licks in there. Um, you know, bends. So there's some ideas for you to create your own solos in something like this. Gives you the I, I've given you the areas that I'm playing. I've even shown you a, a lick or two. Take it from there. Make it your own. And I'm Red. I will see you again soon with another lesson.